thank uh, those of you who traveled uh, far to come here. Um, thank you for being here. Um, let me get Lano so that he can come in because he needs to be recognized. Olivia, come on. Come on. ¿Dónde está Lalo? ¿Dónde está Lalo? Ah, llévalo. ¡Lalo! Para que salga su niña. Oye. This is Lalo's wife, Olivia. 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 And she does, um, she does events. She does these beautiful arrangements for quinceañeras, for weddings, all that other stuff. Beautiful stuff. She has a restaurant on Monterey. Um, she knows, Candy knows the entire family. Um, and then this is Lalo, her husband. Come over here so you can come out in the video. So everybody, let's give, let's give them a round of applause. seven days a week. As you all know, the restaurant business is not an easy business. This location here has been here for over 20 years. I worked here as a waitress while I was a student at Santa Clara. Um, and uh, Olivia used to take care of my little brother and sister, and Lalo used to take me to my high school. We were neighbors in East San Jose. Um, and basically, we come from a family and friends where everybody helps each other. So they've known my family for over um, 30 years. And, and so the reason we had it at this location is brings all these memories for me, but also uh, because you know that we always pay it forward to the restaurant. And um, they have another one in Silver Creek. His son owns that one. Very beautiful if you get a chance. It's really cool and all the, you know, young crowd goes there. And he knows about it. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so. One of the things is to really that we do is really promote the restaurant so that you let other people know. Um, you'll taste the food; it's absolutely phenomenal. Great service. You're with family, so you're not just like a restaurant. It's you're you're actually with family. So I just wanted to give them a round of applause. Thank you. That's what it's all about, right? Thank you. Um, you guys saw a questionnaire that Candy was nice enough to pass out. Do you guys have a questionnaire? So the questionnaire, the questionnaire is important because this is really what this meeting is all about. All of you had an opportunity to. Um, you know, get to network a little bit. This is what this is about. So for those of us who are business owners, we're here to network. Now, what I foresee, there's going to be women. There's, you know, so you need to understand, some of the women that are staying home with their children, they feel a little threatened with being in a room with business women. But the reality is, is that a lot of them, like my sister who lives literally down the street, uh, as soon as my nephew starts going to school, she's just going to have to figure out what to do. Um, so I can tell you that the more welcoming that we make it for all women, this is my vision, it's all women, and this is how it's going to help everyone. We're really here for a common cause, and the common cause is how do we as women master ourselves, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but the reason that we want to bring all the women in is because I want this to be a very safe space. I'll tell you what the space will not be. And those of you who know me, know me, I'm a straight shooter. I lived in New York for 12 years. I was a teacher in the South Bronx. I don't really, I mean, I just say. So what it will not be is, it will not be a place where anyone's going to be made uncomfortable. You know, you hear all the stories, you know, women are catty. There's no catty women here. There's only loving women, okay? And there's only women that are here to promote other women's businesses and other women in general. Now, I do have a requirement, and I don't know if you noticed I was doing this, and there's a reason for that, physiological reason. Um, it's so important that as part of this group, if those of you who decide to stay here for the long haul, is whenever you see each other, you hug each other, and let me tell you why that's important. Uh, when you go and you travel to tribes that have not been infiltrated by modern 
what I call sickly society. Um, women don't have cancer, and women don't have hormonal issues, and they don't have any of the issues that women in our modern world experience. And part of that is because they're always in community, they're always, you know, what I say, in communion and in community. And so research has shown that when you hug someone, and you're actually giving energy to that person for about 48 hours to 72 hours. So if that woman walks in, like most of us that are overdoing and not refilling the, you know, the water glass, you know, all of you guys know this is what this is what we do because it's part of our DNA. But what we're not getting now is we're not getting our water refilled. Okay, and we absolutely need to get that. If you're a person that you don't feel comfortable doing that yet, that's okay. If somebody wants to hug you, what you have to say is say, I welcome your hug. And you can say, I'm not ready, and it's a safe space for you because I realize that not everything is the same. I learned that because I'm a hugger. My family's a hugger. And then I was at some event, I'm hugging everybody, and I realized that not everybody grew up hugging. So, but just know that if you hug, you're passing on your energy and you're diffusing your energy. If you're carrying some negative energy with you, just the touch of another human being of warmth is going to be able to make you feel better. So, but I'll talk a little bit um, further about that. I just wanted to welcome you. Now at this point, I want to bring our founder of the GNA that without the GNA, uh, this would not be possible. As you know, Elias is what I call a masterful at promotion. And so for me to team up with him, this, this was part of it. It was because I thought, well, I have the group of women that I know, but then my women are spread all over the United States, literally, or in other countries. And, you know, it's really all about leveraging relationships and partnerships, and we'll talk more about that, because as women, sometimes we think we want to be Wonder Women and superheroes, and in the end, that makes us sick. <laughs> so I want to bring Elias Malice up, uh, to say a couple of words for us. Let's give him a round of applause. How are you all doing today? Yes. yes. Awesome, awesome. Thanks again, Rosie. I took some notes, and this is the very first time I've spoken at a women's master event. So, let's give you some credit here. Let's forward the program, right? Okay, so I want to welcome you all to the very first chapter of the GNA Women's Mastery of many more to come. This is the San Jose Silicon Valley GNA Women's Mastery Program. And we're going to be meeting here every first and third Tuesday of each month. How do you all feel about the GNA Women's Mastery? Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So, for those of you that uh, don't know me, I'm a man of many words at the other events, but today, you know, I'm going to keep this very, very short and sweet, because this event is about each and every one of you ladies, and to empower you within your local communities, so you can stand out in your local communities. How do you all feel about that? Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, I want to mention a couple other things. Uh, we have the, uh, the, the GNA Women's Mastery group page, which, how many of you are in that group page already, the GNA Women's Mastery group page? Some of you are probably wondering why is Elias in there, why are there a couple of men in there, because we are the GNA executive team, and we're helping Rosie moderate that group page and oversee it, because if we don't moderate it, somebody comes in there and starts doing things that are contaminating the culture, how's that going to make you feel, right? We want to make it a safe place for you to, to network and communicate in between the meetings. So. Since Rosie is the only person on board right now, and there'll be more people coming on in the future once she trains them, she can't always be online and moderate it, so we're there to help you out as well. We're here to help you out as well. How do you all feel about that? <laughs> Let's see, what else do I have here? Another note, but I want to mention personally, being in that group page, I have learned a lot from each and every one of you. Seriously, it really touches my heart to have this event here and be a part of the GNA. But I've learned from every one of you ladies, and I will continue to learn any support that you need from myself and the overall GNA executive team. We're a phone call away, a Facebook message away, an email away, and we'll get back to you with a timely response. How do you feel about that? So, let's see. On that note, uh, before I turn the meeting over to Rosie, uh, we're going to ask all the gentlemen now, but Don, did you order any food? You, you didn't order food, right? Because uh, you, you can know, go to the bar. In the event there too, we're going to have to vacate yeah. the premises. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, you can I'm, go to the bar. I'm going to finish my words here. 
to allow the culture of this program to truly take place for the ladies, we're going to have to ask the men to kind of vacate the premises. <laughs> that, let's give Madonna a round of applause. Give Madonna a round of applause. And uh, before I pack up my camera and get out of here myself as well, I want to welcome back to you the wonderful lady who's the creator and director of this GA Women's Mastery Program. Please welcome back to the stage, Rosalinda Rosalinda. <laughs> Yeah, You're welcome.